On the scene, on the story, this is News 9. Well, Oklahoma is now number two in the country in the production of wind energy. Only Texas produces more. But the spread of wind farms across the state is raising safety concerns, including from meteorologists. Tonight, Nine Investigates' Alex Cameron shows us what they're worried about and why that's worrying others. Ray Clifton has been tending his garden out here in rural Caddo County since well before any wind turbines started going up. It's like most things. You don't know what's going on at the time. It's not a big deal. It's just progress. But Clifton's learned that progress can have consequences, like turbines that get in the way of accurate weather forecasts. Uh, accurate forecasting is, yeah, it's probably one of the most important things, you know, because that is a life and death a issue. There it is. There it is. Going to be the tornado now. Uh, it's got to be on the ground now. It's May 26, 2015, tornado on the ground near Hydro and look closely, very near the Weatherford wind farm, a potential recipe for danger. You know, that data starts to look really, really fuzzy. Chief Meteorologist David Payne says it's a simple fact. Wind turbines contaminate radar data. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. That's not rain. It's clear up here. David says when it is clear and there's no weather, it's not a problem because they know that this is just the radar reflecting off the turbines. The problem is when there is weather and it's moving over a wind farm. And there's times in there when I've been looking at wind velocity data, like damaging winds or an area of circulation, where I've got, hang on a second, what's real? And what's not, you know, what's what's a wind turbine versus, you know, what's real data? This is a perfect example. Jessica Schultz is the radar program manager for the National Weather Service. So here you have a thunderstorm developing um, or shower developing, and here's a wind project just west of Garber. The storm gets lost in the wind farm. Schultz says as new wind projects are developed across the country, it's her job to analyze them for the potential to interfere with nearby radar. Our concern is those close call situations where you have a thunderstorm that's rapidly evolving, moving across the uh, wind turbine area uh, when it can make it more difficult to discern what exactly is happening. Since 2006, the National Weather Service has analyzed about 1,700 wind projects across the country, but they have no legal authority to stop any of the projects from going forward. All they can do is pass along any concerns they might have to the local communities and to the project developers and hope they listen. They take it very seriously. A wind industry spokesman says developers are aware of the issue and understand the interference gets worse the closer the turbines are to the radar. The industry is more than willing to cooperate with the, the National Weather Service and NOAA to make sure that these uh, situations um, are mitigated and uh, you know safety is the number one concern. Safety is also Ray Clifton's top concern, his family's safety. So he's counting on wind developers to keep that promise. Because out here, you really do need the uh, tornado warning, all you can get. Near Minko, Alex Cameron, News 9.